Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I'd like to welcome you all back for another video. Anyways, like the title says, tonight we are going to be shaving with the world's best safety razor. That's the manufacturer's claim, not mine. This will be the first time I've used it. Um, it's got a couple of bent teeth at this end of the comb. A little bit on, a little bit on a tooth at this end. But that's not going to really affect the shave at all. Um, the blade pins, stabilizer pins, are a little bit smaller than some. So got to kind of play with it a little bit. Um, it's easy enough to line up. My girlfriend looked at it and she said the blade alignment looked pretty good. So anyways, the brush is going to be, oh, the blade in that is a Wilkinson Sword. Um, I believe it's out of their green pack from India. Um, one of the blades that C. Kiefer was nice enough to send me when he sent me a Chevette a while ago. The brush is going to be my Maggots 24mm synthetic with the Canadian maple leaf on the, on the um, end of the handle. The soap is here in my good old vintage Old Spice mug. Uh, it's fine American blend, classic American blend, which is a barbershop sand. So, that's what we're going to be using. So, let's go ahead and get the face wet. And, or, no, first let's load the brush. Anyways, um, quick bit of housekeeping. I went ahead and have another subscriber. It is Uncle George. That's the name of his channel. So uh, he's got two videos. They're both scuba diving videos. Um, the newest one is a little over a year old, I think. Um, and that's where he's checking out at the base of a dam under under the water. And the other one is he's night diving at night with blackfish. So Uncle George, um, if you like scuba diving, or you like watching videos such as that, go ahead and take a look. He's got two two subscribers, two videos, two subscribers. So. Um, George, I don't know if you're going to come back to YouTube or not, but welcome to the channel, man. I myself have not had a chance to check those videos out. I will do so, though. One more one. Um, went ahead and found out that the straight razor I showed in the, uh, the video showing the four new razors um, very well looks like it very well may be a wade and butcher so really really happy with that let me go ahead and get my face wet This fine American blend is just the sense not overpowering, powering, mm. but it is a very nice barbershop scent. Mm. Beautiful barbershop scent, I, I do think. Granted, I don't have that many barbershop scents. Um, I've got the one so far. I've had Bear Stir Man Lather, the original, which was a barbershop scent. Um, I really like that one. Hmm? Let's get 
slathering. Anyways, um, been enjoying. Only seen a couple, but um, been enjoying the videos where. I've actually only seen two so far. Um, she shaves with gel and shooting a shave. Um, to where they use their non dominant hand. Um, so, <laughs> those were kind of interesting. I mentioned them in my last video, I can't remember. Tomorrow, I have a procedure to be done on my back. Um, nothing major, not too invasive. They're going to go in on the left side tomorrow um, for pain to put nerve blockers on the left. Um, then they're going to go in in one week, put nerve blocker on the right, and then once that's done, if those are successful. One moment. You know what? Let me go ahead and pick up some more lather on my brush. Here. This fine is a bit of a hard soap. It is triple milled, so But um, if the nerve blockers are a success, after I see my doctor for the two week follow up, he is going to go in and cauterize the nerves. That are sending me all the pain signals. And best case scenario, cuts my medication, my pain pill intake in half. So, but the actual nerve blockers have to take effect real have to take effect for it to work. Hmm. Um, the risk is pretty low and it's mainly infection because well if you've ever had injections in your back you would know that um you know you'd be familiar with the fact that an epidural goes kind of deep but they're going to use x-ray guidance and all that stuff to make sure they hit it and then <laughs> when for the cauterization they go ahead and they give your nerve a little zap and if your leg jerks then they know that they're in a bad place so to speak and they reposition the, the probe and, and cauterize so all right now 
and get a chance to go ahead and research this razor much in my razor compendium. I just haven't had the time. And, um, yeah, so I still don't know who makes it. I'll go ahead and try and get that information for you all for the next video by the time the next video rolls around. Oh yeah, nice. Um Wow. If any of you saw the video where I bought, where I was using my friend Christian's Saluna DE, um, then, um, I would say that this razor's aggression is hmm, pretty close. Right about the same. Um, the fine is doing a great job. Nice feedback on it. I think I mentioned uh, I've got about four days growth. So. First pass down, nice. No complaints. Don't judgment on this thing's claim about being the world's best. Smooth, I'll give it that. Or smooth razor, I'll give it that. Um, so, can't complain.
So. Trying to get used to using both hands that way so when I go ahead and get that weight and butcher cleaned up and um, get a straw up and all that stuff for it. I won't be having issues with it so to speak. as far as using both hands. So yeah. Draw screen done. on for the third and final pass getting a little bit of irritation right there um, could be the blade don't know yet. Um, these Wilkinson sword blades for me they're a decent blade Even though I just got this one five pack, I got the one five pack from Carl. Um, they, uh, for me, it depends on which razor it's in. Um, they work like a, they work like a champ in my. 59 second quarter fat boy my e2 fat boy they work great in my e2 fat boy so hmm. not leaving a lot behind after that second pass on the neck area so Of course, they did go against the grain on that second pass on my neck. So, like I always do. So, you know, it's against the grain down on the chin and lip. Um, some people don't like going against the grain on parts of their face. Um, I, I respect that, um, because the key is to show you without getting irritation. So, and some people just really can't go against the grain, period. I mean, if you're Chasing a DSF or I mean B, BBS because you want more than a DSF baby bus smooth versus damn fine shave. Um, and you just can't go. against the grain without killing your face then don't do it and Nick shaves if 
you watch any of his videos. Which, unfortunately, he hasn't been active for a while. Um, he, uh, never ever went against grain, to my knowledge. It was always across the grain, so. Anyways, do a feel, do a feel about. But he never went against the grain. He just, he just couldn't. And that's cool. Um, a little up here. So, right there. No bad shave. Alright. I'll call it good. Anyway, so, I'm going to go ahead and cut away, rinse off here, and um, shave the dome and I'll be back for the post see y'all in a minute anyways sorry guys since it's a new razor we're gonna go ahead we're gonna see what the alum says this is old spice alum hmm, not bad oh really um hmm not bad, not bad at all. Actually, very, very little stain. Oh yeah, the alum is not thumping me tonight. Um, yeah, very nice. Drop that off. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead. And I'm gonna cut away again. And um, see y'all back for the post. Well, that was an absolutely great shave. Um, I don't know if I'd say it's the world's best safety razor, but whoever made it. Uh, they have product they could be proud of. Um, got me BBS, absolutely BBS after three passes, one with, one against, or one across, one against. My problem area, which is down here on the neck, hardly anything there. Cheeks, chin, lip, upper lip, neck, all absolutely wonderful. My head, Pretty damn smooth, but of course, I now shave it with a triple blade cart uh, disposable because um, I just got tired of actually nicking or now in my head. Got tired of getting little little razor bumps. Well, not really little razor bumps, just like little breakouts on the head. Um, so you know what? Safety razor is great for the face. Not so much the dome. So, but anyways, um, but yeah, that was a great shave. The Blade Wilkinson Sword, third use. Um, it uh, it definitely, definitely no second use. Excuse me, second use. Um, I ought to get a couple of more shaves out of it. The brush was the Maggert's um, synthetic with the maple leaf on it. 24 millimeter, great brush. The soap was fine, classic American blend, which is a barbershop scent. Um, my face feels wonderfully soft, everything, so it's got a good post shave in itself. It was in my old spice mug. And uh, yeah, so that was the shave. Anyways, let's go ahead and use the post shave products here. Oh, used alum and Hardly any stinging at all. Hardly any at all. If you're a wrestling fan and you watched the Elimination Chamber, great matches on that. Me and my brother watched it. 
<laughs> we're big time wrestling fans. Watched it, really enjoyed it. Aftershave Bomb is Nivea for Senso Skin. Everybody, thank you for everything you said on the last, all the comments on the last video. I thank you all. Sorry, I don't get back to you all as quick as I, as some YouTubers out there might. But, you know, for me, it kind of, the way I got to do it with my screen, with my tech, technology accessibility settings and all that, it just takes a little longer for me to get to certain things so sometimes it just I gotta be in the mood to do certain things but I do enjoy responding and reacting with all of you guys especially those of you who comment regularly Panad Clubman is the aftershave love the scent great barbershop scent Hmm, a little bit more of that. But, um, so yeah, that's the shape, guys. Um, hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you for joining me. Hmm. Ah. Oh. That was nice. That was really nice. Anyways, thank you all for joining me. Hope y'all take it easy. I hope y'all had a great Valentine's Day. If I didn't say anything, um, happy Valentine's to y'all. Once again, welcome Uncle George to the channel. Um, hope you enjoy your time here with us. Anyways, um, y'all take it easy. I shall see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.